Galilee News. My name is Beth, Beth Lehan. A very unusual report has come in involving our miracle worker, Jesus, on how a man born blind can now see. But a group of religious men whose eyes work actually can't see at all. No way. The impossible seems possible when it comes to Jesus, doesn't it? Before our main story today, we have the exciting news that Gail Force Winds was at the Weather Woman of the Year Awards last night. Let's see what happened. Yeah, that one. Ooh, that one too. Oh, I'm sorry, Beth. I've just been told that I'm Weather Woman of the Year. And I'd like to thank my llama. Well done, Gail. Now on to our main story of the day. Bong. We've had lots of reports about Jesus, who people are saying is God's son. He's been doing miracles galore, from making wine appear from water, walking on water itself, and healing a man whose body didn't work. Well, our news reporter, Al, Al Seeing, tells us more. Al. Hi Beth, Al Seeing here, reporting from my hometown, where Jesus brought sight to a man who was blind from birth. I'm going to speak to the neighbours in a moment, but some of them don't seem to recognise the blind man, even though he's been here his whole life. Hello. So I'm here with one of the neighbours of the blind man, who has seen him around for years. Do you think it's the same man? Do you think it's the same man? Yes. Who's lived in your hometown? Yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> there you go. Hello, and we're here again with someone else from the hometown who has seen the blind man around for a long time and they seem to disagree. Do you think that this man, hello, sorry, do you think that this man is the same man from your hometown and now we can see? Do you think it's the same man? No, he only looks like him. Okay, thank you. Hello, well I've managed to track down the man who's been healed by Jesus and can now see. What do you think about what your neighbours have been saying? I am the man. Oh. Well there we go. How then were your eyes opened? The man they called Jesus put some mud on my eyes. He told me to go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed. And then I could see. Where is this man? I don't know. At this point, the villagers led the man to the temple. Thanks, Al. What a story. A news report has just come in now, actually. The man who can see is being questioned by the religious rulers called the Pharisees. And they don't seem to believe that this man has been healed by Jesus at all. In fact, over our past few news reports, we see that the Pharisees have had a big problem with Jesus performing these miracles and helping people. Let's see if they'll be kind to him today. Hello. So I've just followed the blind man who can now see being taken to the temple. And I tried to get in to follow what was going on in there between him and the religious lawmakers, the Pharisees. But they wouldn't let me in because I could be a follower of Jesus. So I've got to wait outside now to see if I can get an interview with the blind man who can now see when he comes outside. Thank you. The Pharisees couldn't believe that Jesus could have done this miracle. They thought Jesus was a sinner because he didn't follow their rules. The healed man knew that Jesus must have come from God and told the Pharisees, One thing I do know, I was blind but now I see. So, did the Pharisees believe that you were healed by Jesus? Well, 
They then said mean things to me and tried me to tell me that I do not follow God's people. That they know that God spoke to Moses, but they do not know where this Jesus comes from. Hmm. They then told me that it was all my fault that I was born blind and threw me out of the temple. Whoa. Well, thank you for bravely and kindly telling us about your encounter with and healing by the man who sounds like our very own Jesus Christ. And for the very sad way that you were treated by the religious rulers. There is a lot to think about from this story. Over to you at the studio, Beth. Thanks, Ahan. Well, it seems many are afraid of being kicked out of the temple for disobeying God. But we know and have heard that Jesus is claiming to be equal with God himself. We know from the past that the Pharisees love to make up rules for others to follow. But actually, do we just need to listen to Jesus instead? What do we have here? The Jesus Christ talking to the man outside of the temple, not inside with all the Pharisees, outside of the temple. Our system is down, so we can only show you a photo of the event. Jesus told the healed man that he had been sent by God. The healed man responded by worshipping Jesus. Simply marvellous. It's clear now that Jesus has come to save the lost, the sick and the poor and even some of the rich Pharisees and tax collectors have come to believe in him. They've repented of their sins and Jesus says they will receive eternal life. It's a comfort to know that when we have a hard time that Jesus loves us and is with us. My name is Beth Lehem and you have been watching Galilee News. Goodbye.